Hi, welcome to part two of the Alum Crystal Lab. For the past two weeks, my solution has been sitting stationary on my desk, but unfortunately, alum crystals have not yet formed, as you can see. One possible explanation for this was that I did not fully saturate the solution with alum. This would cause the little particles of alum to remain suspended in the liquid without crystallizing. To compare, you can see that my roommate's solution has tiny little crystals forming in the bottom. Now let's take a look at percent yield. To calculate percent yield, we first need to find the theoretical yield. We start with one gram of aluminum. Then, using the molar masses of aluminum and alum, and the mole-to-mole ratio, which is one-to-one -one in this case, we get that the theoretical yield should be 17.58 grams of alum. Then, we compare that to our actual yield, which was 14.83 grams. This shows that we had an 84.4% yield. There are several possible explanations for this low percent yield. For one, glassware measurements have small margins of error, but this would just lead to a small error. More likely explanation would be the human error of losing some alum in the process of vacuum filtering it and then taking its mass. 